Hello and welcome to Quackalope, thank you for being here. Today we're bringing you a gameplay of Dreadful Meadows by Arcus Games. Mm -hmm. This is a lovely little abstract game with a little bit of tiling, some fun and interesting point scoring, some incredible artwork, thematic characters, and it is here just in time for the Halloween season. So, we're excited to show this off, hang out with us, we'll give you a full little preview and overview here at the beginning of the video, so if you only want to stay tuned to figure out what exactly this game is, we'll cover that first. And then, we've got some embittered gameplay coming because we've played this a few times offline, and uh, needless to say, I lost against West horribly the first time. Yes, horribly. And then uh, lost all three again. of us went head to head, and I um, still lost horribly, still but lost against all three horribly, of us. Horribly, yeah. So this is where I redeem myself. Is that is that the third time's the charm in third, that regard? Yep. He's better at playing on camera. That's he what he is always so unfair. states that he can just do it much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true. It's true. Shall we get some flavor text going on here? Flavor text. <clears throat> <clears throat> Welcome to Dreadful Meadows. Dearest Corporal Confectioner, it's competition time in Candy County, and my readers are abuzz with supernatural speculation. Who will produce this season's sweetest sensation? There are whispers that you yourself host the most extraordinary talents in candy creation, a master of administrating a game-like strategy. It has been said of you... And I ask myself, how could I deprive my dear readers of the pageant of such promising participants and thus invite you to join in our esteemed event? As a newcomer to Dreadful Meadows, some advice I will bestow. Align your talents with one of our most celebrated confectioners to learn the tricks and treats of the trade from a seasonally seasoned professional. Each can conjure up unique abilities within the realm and their sugar sprites help to produce the most exquisite candies. Once you are in the favor, they will share their most creative concoctions and horrid but helpful harvesters for a crafty competitive edge. Contained within is a com Pactuous of notes, a guidebook, if you will, of this season's rules and regulations. Mm. It is set to be the most exciting season, and I would be dreadfully delighted if you would join us. <coughs> Cordially yours, Cornelia Cavity, candy critic to the tasty tabloid. Whew. First off, that was lovely. Second off, I think the voice fit her I do. exceptionally well. Third off, in Deadly Meadows, you're going to be building out your own little patch of land. You know, you're a humble farmer, slowly upgrading, placing your workers out in the field, collecting things like phantom mallows or dreadful trees or uh, treacled teeth uh, or gummy clogs. Gummy globs. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, eyeballs. To go ahead and start creating and crafting and brewing your own confectious candy. Mm -hmm. You're also going to be able to install big factory machines that kind of look like spider leg crabs. It's, Harvesters. it's kind of like if a minion mated with a tractor. Ooh. Didn't know I was into that till just <laughs> now. New kink. You'll be installing them in your different land, in your different plots, slowly getting better and better at harvesting all of those resources until finally one of two end conditions actually trigger. Is it two or is it three? One of three end conditions actually trigger? One of... We run out of tiles. Yes. We come down to one, one harvester, harvester left or we, or we make it through the deck, which we are not skilled enough for Never that gonna to even potentially nope. be an option. Each one of the different tiles that we have will produce its own unique little resource. It'll also have its own unique ability, which we'll display as we start playing the game and, and pulling people off of them. And we're going to be having them generate in the marketplace up here. Uh, and you're going to be trying to build kind of little patches or little little growing zones of them to score accordingly. The primary way you're going to score in the game is going to be through cards yep. where you've had completed resources, through harvesters that are going to be in adjacent or collective patches of ground. And you want as many of those like big patches as possible. And then also through excess resources. Yeah, excess pieces of candy. Outside of that, you kind of just want to control the flow of the game yourself. Self. You should be the person that's like making the decision when to end the game cycle because this is a timing game in a, in a few ways. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you could 
end up having it go one or two rounds too short or too long and end up giving away your lead because someone else was able to go through the cycle of harvesting, getting all the resources from their harvester and trading them in for either resources on their card mm -hmm. or uh, potentially more tiles to place down onto their map. With that being said, I'm playing Leaf. And Leaf is an expansion character, a Kickstarter exclusive, I believe. Yes. And he has no flavor text in this standardized so rulebook. I imagine it's because his voice sounds like the wind blowing through the trees above on a soft fall day, and thus no flavor text could be said about him because he sounds like this. But I'm playing as Jack, and I am one of the main <laughs> characters, and therefore there is flavor text about me. Jack, carved out from generations of success, this kooky confectioner never fails to light up competition. Jack's patented pumpkin pops have made him popular, but it's his mercurial market charm that produces such prodigious, flavorful farms. Jack's ability is ignore all market costs when purchasing patches. West is playing as Nina, the matriarch of the meadow. Countess Nina is as sharp and hard as her terrifyingly tasty treacle teeth. The oldest confectioner in dreadful meadows, this countess can make every candy patch count come competition time. Nina's ability, gain the corresponding sugar sprite bonus of the first, first patch you place after purchasing. And you're gonna have to introduce Leaf with your whispers. And I'm playing Leaf. My ability is you may place spirit sprites onto patches containing other sprites. So, let's explain the four core actions we're going to have on our turn. West, on your turn, you are able to... Do one of four things. I just said that. Thank mm -hmm. you for repeating my state. So you can do one of four things. On your turn, you'll four be doing... Four of these one things. One of these next four <laughs> things that Wes is going to display. You can The purchase... first of the four things that you'll be doing could be... Purchasing pur a patch. Exactly. From the marketplace here, and you'll have to pay the cost of the patch plus the market cost below, unless your name is Jack, and then you can cheat and just pay the top cost. The second of the four things that you might do, after the first one, which was... Of purchasing from a patch. You can place a sprite down on your patch to generate uh, the candies in the areas around you that don't currently have candies on them. The third of the fourth after the first and the second of the fourth correspondingly. One was being able to purchase from a patch. The second was placing a sprite on a patch to generate resources. The third of the fourth will be placing a harvester. You do have to pay the cost of the land surrounding the harvester and you also have to make sure that there's four lands so that all the corners uh, are touching something. All the sides are touching an area. And the fourth of the fourth, after the third, the second, and the first, correspondingly of the fourth, the first starting with being able to purchase a patch, the second placing a sprite down on a patch, the third being of the fourth, the one where you place the harvester into a right. patch that has a surrounding zone, paying the corresponding cost, giving the option not only score points, but also generate more resources. Now we're getting to, again, the fourth of the first, second, and third of the fourths of the things that you might be able to do on your turn. You can take a sprite off of the patch. You can actually take all of your sprites off and return them, and then you get to do the corresponding um, behavior that is based on the type of uh, patch that that sprite was on. So the four things that you can do on your turn, you could place a sprite, you could remove a sprite, you could buy a patch, or you could install a harvester. Mm -hmm. Fairly simple, starts getting more complex. Let's start playing. Let's start playing. She was buying immediately. It'd be nice if she talked us through her turn and didn't destroy the board in the process. Jack has the ability that I can ignore the bottom market costs. Therefore, I am buying a three, a treacle teeth, uh, phantom mallows, and gummy gobs. And it's going to cost one plus two plus three, which is a total of six. Your candy is going to be your main resource. It's going to be your only resource in the game. It's your income. So it's based, it's worth whatever patch it is on. So the dreadful trees are worth $5 and the gummy gobs are worth $1, which is a total of six, which corresponds to what I just purchased. And that is the end of my turn. Now you do have to install those patches. I do. Very Always adjacent. carefully. Very carefully to other patches around the board. Now I also start with seven coins because I have a Phantom Mallows patch. That's because I'm going to be the second player, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And as soon as Shear's turn is over, everything slides down to the right and yep. then you reinstall uh, directly from the bag. So I am going to purchase this for two. That's leaving me with a five left over. Do I want to spend there's not really a good market split right there now. There is no way for you to just spend five, unfortunately. Yeah, it's it's actually... So you don't get change from the candies that you spend. So if you overspend because there isn't something specifically that hits the exact number, but you can do everything all in one purchase. So if there was a way for you to spend seven, you could do that. 
Yeah, but I, I kind of want the Phantom Mallows, if you know what I mean. I do. Hmm. <sighs> little... I'm a little disappointed at the current state of things. I think I'm actually, I'm gonna play it weird. You are gonna play it I'm gonna spend weird. two, I'm gonna let everything cycle down, and I'm nice. gonna wait for the next market to uh, pop on out here. All right. Actually, is that smart? It sounds great, because you've already ended your turn, so. <laughs> it's a bad decision. <laughs> it's a fantastic decision for me. It's a bad um, I currently oh, have a total want that. of yeah, eight. You want that pink one, 100% mm -hmm. I do, ah. yes. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend everything because I have eight, and then if I buy those two glummy globs and then the treacle, that should be a total of eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're right, Wes. That was. Um... And my special ability is the first one I get to put down, I get to do the behavior of that. And the treacle teeth behavior is that I get to draw something from the bag, and that will go down on my patch. You do draw something from the bag? I do. Another treacle teeth, yay! Fantastic. I don't like his patch already, Shira. You finished? Wow. He has so many things. All right, I am placing out a goober. I am placing out a sugar sprite. I'm putting it on my, stop it. <laughs> gummy, I'm putting it, he's really slippery. Putting him out on my gummy glove and therefore generating a treacle teeth and a dreadful tree. Mm, I'm gonna put him on phantom mallows instead. But yes, same net effect. Your turn. Mm. Frustratingly, I am going to go ahead and do a purchase cycle, buying Phantom Mallows and the Gummy Glob. It's not really what I wanted out of this nonsense, but I'm willing to accept. West, what you doing? I'm going to what place given? a person down here, and I'm going to get two Treacle Teeth and a Dreadful Tree. Oh. Four, six, seven. I'll take all four, please. Of course all she four will. Of them. So ridiculous with her special powers. I don't like her special powers. It's very, very, very special. Ooh. I don't like that I don't have access to that either. I love that you don't have access to that. So these trees are amazing because they start they start counting all together. Yes, and they also are wild for your special concoctions that you're making. Only one tree. That's so frustrating. Do you know how valuable one tree is? And one West is, is going to get it. Valuable. I'm going to sell my soul. Mm -hmm. So Mud Sprite is going to go here to trade for <laughs> said. Except Sorry. not so not much. Not how it works. <laughs> All right, Sprite is going to go down here. We're going to go ahead and generate some phantom mallows. Going to generate a tree. I know that That's you're turn. shocked by this. I'm really frustrated about this. I am going to buy the tree, and then uh, with my two treacle teeth, I'm going to buy that pumpkin as well. This pumpkin here? Yes, please. Or want the more expensive pumpkin? I would just like the less expensive the, pumpkin. The normal pumpkin. And then I'm going to place a sugar sprite from my area on somewhere and generate Placing a sprite <sighs> so i get another tree and a treacle and a treacle and a gummy glove your turn one two three four yeah i'm gonna buy these two big spender big spender and uh I could get that I could get that orange one for very refined cost of nothing, but I'm not I'm not gonna I'm gonna let it slide down. Okay. And what else is coming out of the bag? Another tree. Wow. Wrong timeline for me, man. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that tree and I'm no. overspending by one, unfortunately, to buy it, which really kinda sucks, but that's okay. West has three trees, Shira. I see that. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. I am going to take... And... Um, I get to draw a new... Can you give me a concoction card, please? Why do you get that? For placing a tree. I get to do the behavior I'll of the tree. I'll take both pumpkin pops and the gummy gloves. This is getting out of hand. Shira is getting a lot of things, I agree. West! <laughs> no! Bad West! <laughs> Pumpkin pops, phantoms, some phantoms, some treacle teeth. Oh, man, 
I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend my ridiculous tree. Gonna buy myself a phantom. I think that's it, though. I feel like I'm not doing as well as you all. <laughs> um, she could go out there and say that. I am going to pull back both of my people, so I get to draw a random thing from the bag, please, and I get to put anything I want on one of these. Don't be a tree. It's not. It's gummy glove. It's a terrible draw. Good. You should do a much better job drawing for me. I will draw I'm putting better for Fanta. myself. I'm putting my last sprite on this. Mm. Treacle. I'm using my special power. Pumpkin pop. Putting a sprite down on the Phantom Mallow there. To generate a whole round more resources. Nice. I am going to place this here. Although I feel like I shouldn't. But I should. Uh, okay. I'm good. Sure. I am pulling back my sprites. Um, the Phantom Mallows each get two on them. Mm -hmm. One, two. One, two. And the Gummy Gob. Gain one candy of your choice for a concoction card. And I will be grabbing one of these. Five, four, that could be six, so nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, is that right? Three, three by the whole thing? No, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, so this would be five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, so I don't quite have enough to do the whole collection. So, should just buy the orange one. Don't, don't you? Because look, you don't have an orange one there. You don't need you an orange one for that. Me. Don't you start. And look at how many orange right. ones she already has. Buying these. Do you want the pink? Is that what you're? Yes. He loves the pink. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like his favorite one. Another tree. Out okay. on West's turn. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I don't think I have, I do have enough actually. I'm 100% doing that. So let's see, six plus five, yeah. I'm just, I have way more. This is a 16, so I'm gonna buy all three of those. Oh my god. Seven to five is 12, yeah. Okay. And a lawnmower starting next door. That's fabulous. You buying the last one? No, I don't have enough for that. Okay. I love. Lawnmowers. Filming in the daytime. Can you put on new things, please? But I'm being distracted by the. <laughs> Can you please put out new things? Yeah. Did you get that another tree? I did. I think that's. Is that all the trees that it's are in the game? It's a lot of the trees. There's not very many, and that that's a lot of the trees. <sighs> this is not. This is not going well for me. Can I please have a harvester? You want a har? Sure, is getting a harvester. So explain how harvesters work. So you have to oh, choose. I look out the window. You have to choose a tile that is surrounded on all four sides by other tiles, and then you add up the cost of all the tiles surrounding oh, him. It's our tree people, and they're blowing leaves. Are you going to be able to continue playing the game? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to fire them next year. Okay. So you add up the cost of all of them surrounding the place you want to put the harvester down, and that's the cost of the harvester. I'm placing him here. That's going to cost me three plus five is eight, nine, ten. He's going to go here. These are each two, four, six, eight, ten. It's so loud. I hate it so much. <laughs> is the window open? And it just keeps getting louder. I hate it. There's two people with leaf blowers. There's one full lawnmower. And our yard isn't even that long. <laughs> they're gonna be done in like three minutes. You have like the smallest yard ever. They're, they're fired next year. Are you sure it's open? It's closed on top? Yeah, we're genuinely firing them next year. No, the window, is it closed it's on top? It's the worst. Okay. It, it gets closer. It's still getting louder. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> sure, come sit down. It's fully closed. I love how she asked seven times and didn't believe me. You weren't answering. I did. I said. I said yes. It's closed. Yes. Okay. So, it is your turn. Oh, Whatever mine you is 100% your turn. You wish to go. Uh, my brain's still. Um, 
responding to the existence of noise. Oh, where do I actually want to go? I would suggest on one of the patches. How about the one where you've got all the other ones? I mean, that's that's what I was planning <laughs> on. They'll generate six there if I, I yeah. leave it next. All right, we're gonna pop in there and put down some more gooey mallows, and we're gonna ignore the fact that things outside of my control affect my videos. Plus your turn. Plus your turn. I am going to go here. Shira, we cannot let him buy any more treacle teeth. He's gonna score an insane amount with the amount of connections only, he has. Only if I can get harvesters, so. You're going to be able to get harvesters. Why don't you put another them. one down there? On that diagonal. Yeah, that's oh, a good point. this one shouldn't be done. Sorry, my bad. Wow. Have you been cheating this whole time? Yeah, that's how he bought Not all the trees. Just the first time. That's the first time you've been caught cheating. This is true. Um, it's your turn. Can I please have the marshmallows, the f gobs, and the globs? You have to buy the treacle teeth, Shira Chavins. No, I don't. You do, though, because... But I don't want it. You're gonna... We to cannot for We it. cannot compete <gasps> with each other. <laughs> oh, the treacles of teeth. That's three... <laughs> Uh, how much do I need for all this? That's 12. Five. You'd have to have 12. I have 12, I you, think. You have 11. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes. Oh, no, and I don't even have places for the treacle teeth. Mm -hmm. You should just let them roll and if take not all your worried people about, back. I mean, if Shira's not worried about them. Yeah, just take all your people back. It's fine. I don't even want the treacle teeth. I know. But I cannot let you have the treacle teeth. You can. It'll be fine. It would be a bad decision. No. I'll have so many treacle teeth, I'll have nothing to do with them. I should have bought one of the treacle teeth. Yeah, you should have. They're just... You bought You bought all the stuff that I want. Fine. I'm going to return all my people. So get good. six. And get six mellows down on there. I think you have all the trees and all the treacle teeth. This gameplay has not gone well for me. Mm -hmm. This is his redeeming gameplay. This is my redeeming gameplay. Hey, we look. said we said twelve, remember, right? Remember how I said we pay too much for literally <clears throat> no time, and now they're done. They're done. <laughs> it took like five minutes. What are you trying to buy? Just the three? I'll take all three of those. Yes. Three, six, nine, twelve. Yep. And I need something random from the bag, please. Oh, I was gonna laugh if it was a treacle. That would have been awesome. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Marshmallow. Can I please have a gummy glob and a pumpkin? Gummy glob, pumpkin pop. Thanks. Mallow, gummy glob. I mean... <sighs> this is very frustrating. Mm-hmm. This is very frustrating. I'm gonna buy three, uh, how much is that? That's three, four, seven, plus another four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Of this. So that'd be, that'd be two, six. four, six. Of those. six. Yeah. Or you could do three of those and then that, and yeah. that would be exactly eleven. Yeah, I'm just debating what I want to do, considering you've taken all the good stuff. I didn't take all the good stuff. There's plenty of oranges and greens. I'm just going to buy these two. It'll be seven, five, six, seven. Okay. And can you repopulate and then tell me how many pieces are left? Are there still quite a few in the bag? Yeah, they're a pretty good amount. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go... See, if I go there, that's 11. If I go there, that's tw 9. It sounds like he's got such difficult deliberations to do. I do. He's got all the money in the world. I don't. Your yet. turn, Jesse. 23. Now you get to see a harvester at work for the first time. When you place a sprite adjacent to the harvester, it extends your harvesting. 
that there. I don't want this one here. I want it there, I think. They're so grumbly. It's cute. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. That's enough to buy a harvester. So we'll put him down there like a good gentleman. Okay. Okay. And I need five. I don't have enough for a harvester. Good riddance. <laughs> so I'm going to take back all my people. Um, I need a card, please. And then I need two things from the bag. Oh, man. How about you leave our mellows alone? I don't want them. They're useless to me. We need to drive endgame with this bag. Shira. My turn? Yes. Can I have a harvester, please? That's not driving in the bag. Nine, She's driving the harvester, that's 10, for sure. 11. And he's going to go right here. Okay. Placing down a sprite here on the phantom mallow. I'm going to grab myself a pumpkin. We're going to grab a tree. We're going to grab a mallow. We're going to grab a mallow. I wish those would continue populating. They mm -hmm. don't because they already have fruit on them. And we all know the... Common practice, fruit trees don't grow any fruit beyond what they already have. This is correct. I really should put it here, though. So this gives me this, 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 and this. Shira, quick, buy everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, We've uh, got to stop him from getting two harvesters, Shira. I am I'm telling you, it's the right decision. Putting him down over here. Is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm putting down a glob over there and a mallow That's over not... there. And then he's going to populate and do this over there and a mallow over here. And that won't populate there. Your turn. You're not helping this. I'm so helpful. We're going to buy this and then that and then four, five, that and that. And then this, and this. Hmm. Let's see what pops up, see if there's more treacle teeth. <laughs> I really hope there are not. <laughs> I think you might have all of the trees and all of the treacle teeth. It's possible. Uh, I'm gonna buy a harvester. So I need this, I need nine, I need uh, nine plus 14, okay. So that is 14. He's buying a harvester. Congratulations. It's the one thing we wanted him not to do, Shira. Oop. Okay. My turn? Mm hmm. I'm putting him down here to generate a glob. And a glob. And a tree. Glob, glob. Glob, glob. Tree. Pumpkin. Okay, I'm going to put someone down as well. Oh my gosh. So tree. Treacle, 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 treacle. And then a pumpkin. Pumpkin. Shira? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> um, I take a harvester. Four. How many things are left in the bag? Eight. Three. Just three? Two yeah. Mouths. <laughs> okay. There. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get two, three. To buy those. Slide this down. Ah, I should technically buy one more, shouldn't I? Why? He's trying to end the game. Is it when it's the bag's empty? When the bag's empty. Okay. Even if it's on the board or no? Does it, if it's on the board, it doesn't matter. Is that the end? No. There's still one more no, left. There's... You can reach your hand there's in. Two, there's two left. There's two left. There's okay. two left. 
I'm not trying to end the game. I think you win if I end the game right now. I just, I, I need it to be more controlled than it is. Maybe Shira wins, actually. She's got Possibly. more harvesters. She doesn't, have, she doesn't have them doubled up, though. Uh, All I know is your treacle teeth are a massive threat right now. Yes. Five, and then this. He's doing a harvester. And then, but one. Okay, so I'm doing another harvester. Yeah, where are you putting it? I'm putting it right here. Man. Your turn, oh, my turn? Mm -hmm. Can I have a harvester, please? Um, She's doubling up no, on I harvesters. No, can't, I can't do a harvester yet, sorry. Um, no, you can't. I want to put them right here. I think you could. It's you could pay for it. With that one. If you mm -hmm. use that one to pay for it. Then yeah, you but can... the five covers the cost of the harvester. Mm -hmm. You just, you'd lose that on one coin. That's you could it. put that on your cards. You can always do um, that anytime you want. You're right, and I will do that. Mm. Put them here. And then spend this to put the harvester there. Right. She might actually be doing pretty she well. She might come across and do, take us out. I'm the one that's the real threat though, don't you worry. Your turn. Big threat am I. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that would buy me another harvester. Mm hmm Okay. Oh, Flesh buys the last harvester. Game end is triggered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be the one who triggers game end though is the problem. There's two more in the bag, trip. you said? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to spend these two to buy that last treacle teeth. Yeah, I thought so. Because that's points for him. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling back my friends. Oh no! What? You draw one randomly from the bag? You have to? As do I, accidentally. When you place it down? Mm -hmm. If that's the first you place. Yep. So, I will spend the extra one that I had buying this, and I'll place this one first. Okay. Smart West. Uh, I want a... If there's none in the bag, then what do I do? There is one in the bag. No, but he's drawing it. He's not. I'm not drawing it. He no. found a way around it. Gotcha. Pulling your people back. Do you have to do the ability? If you pull them back, yeah. West, do you have to do the ability? You have to do the ability, yes. Again, with not trusting me. Mm -hmm. It's when the bag is empty? You don't have to pull that person back, though. So you could just take for two the, people back. For the record, back. After, I know, but that's the best after, spot to pull after, them back. It doesn't matter. Yeah. After West's turn, because he bought the second, the piece. second piece, he also triggers endgame no matter what. Crap. He either draws from the bag or buys two pieces, and both have endgame being triggered. Now, technically, you probably should have done the treacle teeth because he would have had another treacle teeth. Mm. Yeah, two I'm just three. saying, you, you, you yep. should have. So we should've. each get one turn. Yeah, both of you get one turn. I'm pulling back my friends. I'm just gonna do... I'm not getting any of these cards again. Oh man, this has gone well for me. I'm just gonna generate... Darn. I would get a random tile from the bag, which I don't get. Nope. Correct. Man, I really wanted to hit one more time. This has gone... Amazing for me so far, guys. Wow. I'm once again not scoring any cards. I have less machines than you all. Okay. How many cards is Shira scoring? Oh, so Just many. One. Just the one. I can't do anything with those. Okay. So, are we ready for scoring now? Yeah. yeah. Where's that pad of paper? Yeah, I'm not... We should just play this again. I'm not <laughs> thrilled... <laughs> I'm not thrilled by how this game went. I think honestly it was the lawnmowers that distracted me. Yeah. For that 45 seconds, or like minute and a half. Yeah. Okay. It was really stressful, you yeah. know. Very stressful. Wow. What's the first thing, Shira? Is it concoctions? Completed concoctions. All right, I have a total of nine. Oh my gosh. Jesse has zero. Oh my gosh. And you have nine, is that correct? Nine, zero, nine. Okay, Second harvesters. One. All right, I have a total of six. Jesse has a total of four. You have a total of eight. eight. Nice. Eight for Shira. You have a total of? I have six. Six. And Jesse has? Four. That's where they are located. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gummy glob cus clusters. I have zero. Jesse has zero. You have 16. More than that. That's a lot of points.
Um, you no, have 12. sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Because scores double. You have two harvesters in that class. Everyone that's on. open counts as two points. Then you guys have zero. Yes. Zero. Um, Phantom L clusters. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. That's, that's very nice. That's the last of my scoring, though. <laughs> sixteen for Jesse Feel and really West. Strong about this. I have zero. You have four. Five. There's a wild there. Five. Yes. Um, trickle teeth clusters, West. Hold on, it's gonna take me a minute. Yeah. You have zero, Jesse. I'm assuming. I have zero. Uh, twenty-two. 22. What? That's a big score. Me, trust him, write it down. There's really 22 there? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 22. Okay. Pumpkin pop. You get two. Two. Congratulations. Zero. Zero. I think I might have scored Remaining worse than candy the is first one game. for me. I get zero. Jesse gets two. two. Strong, strong pull there. Strong. So you scored again? Look at that. Good job, Jesse. Strong Can't end. Can you find there. out Jesse's? Jesse has 22. What did I score last time? 22. So you, you scored, scored what less. I scored you, in my trickle teeth. You had 26. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Wes, 28 plus 9 is? Uh, 37. Okay. Is that the highest score so far? Yeah. I was saving mine for last. Don't know. That's 20, 29, 30, 37. Oh Whoa. no, we tied? What's yes. the tiebreaker? I don't know. I have Here's even... the rule book. Where's the rule book? Oh my goodness. Is there a tiebreaker, I guess, is the question. I think we should both just share it in the harvest season. No. <laughs> Did you hear her husband? She said, no. Sure is no. not, sure is not a, uh, <laughs> a sharing. The, in the case of a tie, the tied player with the highest value of leftover candy in their meadow is the winner. Yay! That is, you have nothing, oh, you do, yes. These three Very are in nice. my meadow. Do you not have candy? You have candy in your meadow. I only have something worth three. I have, you have is five. it the highest value one, or is it I think the it's total just, accumulation? I would assume it's the total accumulation, so you would win. Okay. Very nicely done, Shira. Seal rule book for further clarification circle. Yay! <laughs> I'm I'm actually surprised that she won with that powerhouse of a... I needed one more turn to hit the harvesters once. Were you going... You were going to... Oh, just set down a piece? Mm -hmm. and oh, then so would I! That was why I had to pull him back. As soon as I set this down, everything... Wow! Yeah. She did build a perfect system. She did. System. Yep. That's I, actually, I wonder if that, that's the strongest layout you can do in this game. Literally. It's pretty darn close. With these yep. not being there, because this is what I like, got for pulling back. Center, and I center placement, and now every single thing triggers. Mm -hmm. I don't know that there's a stronger build. That's, so I would yep, have done that's everything. this, this, this. I literally put him down there, and then these trigger, this triggers those, this triggers those, this triggers that's those, amazing. this triggers those. And then I would have completed all of my cards as well that turn. And Nice. That's All pretty, of that one placement. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's math, very cool. I mathed that out, and I didn't get an opportunity to do it because you dodos drove any game. Had I just taken the trickle teeth and not bought that extra one, it still would have triggered end game. But I would have had three. I'd have oh, you would have had, had two more points. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. That's oh well. True. Either way, thanks for watching. So much fun. I was competitive. You <laughs> <laughs> scored less than you did the first time. Don't worry, those lawnmowers are fired this season. <laughs> We'll have long grass, but quiet videos. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.